Hey everyone, it's Bobby from Lyco Birds with the first in a series of spring warbler warm up videos, and this one is going to cover palm warbler. So be sure to subscribe if you want to see more videos like this, because if people find them helpful, I'm planning to record quite a few of them. And let me know in the comments if you do find this video helpful so I know to make more of them. Now there's two types of palm warblers. Uh, there's the western subspecies and the yellow subspecies, which would be the, the eastern breeding ones. But the two forms overlap quite a bit in migration, so a lot of areas get both of them. And I know uh, where I'm based in north central Pennsylvania, we get fairly even numbers of both, maybe a slight edge towards western, but uh, definitely a lot of yellows as well. Now the main field marks are similar uh, between the two subspecies, but the main difference is the extent of the yellow on the underside. Uh, so the yellow, of course, show much more yellow on the underside, and the westerns are more of this uh, pale brown or grayish color. But birds of both subspecies typically show yellow in the throat. Uh, the exception would be maybe on, on really, really drab western birds. Sometimes uh, they don't have strong yellow in the throat, um, but most of the time they will. And uh, something that both subspecies always have is uh, fairly strong yellow in the undertail coverts. You can see on the, the western and the yellow. Um, and the facial pattern is another thing to key in on. Mostly they're going to have pretty strong rufous in the crown, yellow kind of eyebrow supercilium area, a dark cheek, and a sort of thin, dark lateral throat stripe. And you can see the same pattern with the rufous, the yellow eyebrow, uh, kind of dark cheek, and the dark lateral throat stripe on the western as well. Um, the underside, typically going to have rufous streaking. Sometimes it looks a little more in the brown end on some of the western birds. And then, like I said, the yellow form, uh, the entire underside is pretty strongly yellow. And on the westerns, it's more of a, uh, a brownish color. And if I go to a slightly different angle, the tail is actually fairly long on palm warblers. And it has this fairly distinctive pattern. You have uh, this black tail base, often looks kind of squared off, and then just extensive white spots taking up a good portion of the, um, of the tail towards the, the end um, or towards the tip. And that same tail pattern is present on both subspecies. And a behavioral clues to look for, palm warblers are typically found pretty low, and it's not unusual at all to see them on the ground um, in grass or whatever. And one thing to look out for, the species uh, has a tendency to just continuously um, pump their tails. So you'll see them... Um, if you see them for more than a couple of seconds, you're almost certainly going to see them start uh, tail pumping. So that's definitely something to watch out for. And when you combine the facial pattern with the yellow undertail coverts and the tail pumping, there's really not going to be too much that you would confuse these with. So those are really the main things to look out for. So if you found this helpful, please like and subscribe for more videos like this. Thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next one.